This year, all teachers across Stafford County have worked incredibly hard to meet the needs of our students. I'm very proud of our third grade teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Ensley, who is representing Barrett as our Teacher of the Year. Mrs. Ensley was chosen from her peers to represent our school because she believes in the core values that we demonstrate each and every day. She's dedicated, she's passionate, and she provides a service to the children in her classroom. I think one of the things that stands out for me with Cynthia is her Southern charm and her witty personality. It's not uncommon to walk by the classroom and hear laughter coming from the room, even though we all have to wear the mask. Cynthia is a team player, understands that we have to go above and beyond to reach the needs of our kids, and she very much believes in the philosophy of our school community. Again, she's hardworking, she's dedicated, she's a true teacher hero, and we're honored to have her as Barrett Elementary's Teacher of the Year. Just want to say thank you so much for nominating me to be Barrett's Teacher of the Year for 2020-2021 school year. It is an honor and a privilege to be acknowledged by my peers to say, I see you, I see the job you're doing, I appreciate the job you're putting forth, the effort you're putting forth, and um, just the fact that my peers nominated me really makes me feel good on the inside that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um, here at Barrett Elementary, everybody is valued. Um, we also allow teachers to be whoever they want to be. Um, you get the privilege of being the teacher that you always dreamed you could be. That's been a passion of mine ever since I was a little girl. So I truly am living my dream here at Baird Elementary. Thank you very much. Good evening, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the principal at Margaret Brunt Elementary, and I have the honor and privilege of introducing to you Miss Lainey Parrott, our Teacher of the Year. When I think of Ms. Parrott, uh, really three uh, characteristics define the reason why she was selected by our colleagues and her colleagues and our staff as the Teacher of the Year. First one is relationships. She has a strong, strong relationship with her students. She's developed a really strong relationship with her, her grade level uh, peers and a strong relationship with all of the community here at Margaret Brent. Um, the second one is advocacy. She is a really, really strong advocate for her students. Uh, one of the things you'll notice when you meet Ms. Parrott is uh, she never lets one student slip by. She really has a great understanding of all of her student needs and will absolutely advocate to the uh, utmost degree to make sure every student needs are being met. And the last one, probably the most important one for any of our, our teachers, but importantly, um, especially through this pandemic has been a heart and her heart is just huge. She loves her students. She has dedicated herself tirelessly to making sure that students are doing well in her class. Um, and it is that heart for her students, her heart for learning, her heart for teaching that really set her aside this year and the, one of the reasons that we have named her our Teacher of the Year here at Margaret Brent. It was definitely a major honor to be nominated as my school's Teacher of the Year. Um, to me, that's what, like, it's the biggest honor I could imagine because it just shows that my peers notice that there's something about me as an educator that stands out. And I, it's only my sixth year all here at Margaret Brent, all teaching third grade, and um, I've learned so much from the people around me that it is a real honor that they see something special in me as well. One of my favorite things about working here at Margaret Brent um, is the teamwork. I have been so lucky to be put in a third grade team with amazing people from my very first day. I've learned from them. I've been able to learn leadership. I've been able to learn better education practices and instructional strategies. I've been able to learn how to love kids better, all this stuff that you can't really learn in school. It is an honor to have been chosen the Teacher of the Year here at Margaret Brent, but that honor really does lie on the backs of all of the people who've taught me and who've come before me and helped me get to this point. We are so excited that Andrea Wright is our Rising Star Teacher of the Year. She is a fabulous teacher and works to meet the needs of each of her students. She received a Cooking with Autism grant so that she could better motivate her students with emotional and behavioral concerns. She is a leader for our teachers. They go to her for advice and support. She is the leader of her PLC team and a strong problem solver in our early childhood leadership team. In addition, Andrea starts our day with a smile. She knows that's so important to our program that we all greet our children every day with a smile. 
So she sends us all a joke to have us laughing before we come into school. In addition, Andrea is involved in her community. She's a founding board member of the Cooking with Autism organization. She is a volunteer with Stafford Food Security, and she also volunteers with the Fairy Godmother Project, helping families with sick children. Andrea, to me, epitomizes what Stafford Schools teachers do for their children and their community, and we are very proud of her. Being nominated for my building is, ex is an extreme honor. Um, I work with many talented individuals that love teaching, love children. Uh, they come to school ready every day to work with every child no matter where they're at. So to be nominated out of everyone in this building, it is fabulous. I was very excited and shocked when I received that honor because not one person in this building that doesn't deserve that. My approach to teaching is that I enjoy working with each child on an individual level. Um, you know, whatever their needs are, I, I truly enjoy working with the special needs community, our students with autism, our students with developmental delays, um, cognitive uh, delays, anything like that, because I know that we can celebrate every milestone they reach, because for them, it is just as exciting as a student that's learning to read. So. We've had a student that struggled just going up and down the bus steps because of his um, unique needs, and he's doing that now. Um, we have another student who is or was nonverbal at the beginning of the year, and now he's using words and he's putting some, some signs together. He's interacting more with his friends. Um, you know, I have students that struggle to make it through these longer days, and they've adjusted to the routine and, and for me that is that is huge because it's setting them up for success so thank you so much for this honor um, it's just wonderful to be nominated amongst all the the wonderful teachers here at rising star and i will do my best to um, lead by example every day thank you We are so fortunate to have nominated for our Teacher of the Year this year, Elaine Smets. She is the epitome of a math specialist. She works and encourages our staff. She helps to encourage our students to do their very best. And she reaches out to parents to make sure they understand the mathematics curriculum. She not only spends her time doing all of that within our school day. She also has hosted our 24 Math Club for several years, which has grown in size to where it needs extra people. So Elaine Smets is amazing. Elaine was so welcoming from the time I started at the school um, several years ago. And she was immediately wanting to bring math manipulatives in, asking what I needed. Do you need help setting up centers? And I did gather information. I feel like I'm representing more than just myself here um, in the views that other people have in this school of how helpful she is of always wanting to be there and provide what we as teachers need and, and knowing and appreciating the time that we are in the classroom and how valuable that time is and being able to fill those gaps. Elaine is a very important team member of our second grade team. Our second grade team is a team where we have five years or less experience. Mm -hmm. So being able to come to her, she always gives us uh, encouragement words. She always gives us strategies. And uh, she always wants us to be successful, but in, uh, in turn, she wants the children to be successful. She is always willing to make quizzes uh, to make sure that we have the math tools that we need. I've been a teacher here at Falmouth for uh, 15 years. I've been a teacher for 25, and Falmouth is one of the best places in the world to work. Um, the teachers let you come into their rooms and do lessons, and they enjoy the activities that I do with them. I'm always trying to share new and um, different ways of approaching topics, and they're very open to trying. I've had a lot of uh, good uh, co-teaching relationships with these teachers and I'm I am thrilled that I was nominated I was 
it was amazing to me and I felt very, very honored the Teacher of the Year at Falmouth Elementary School. Good evening. I'm William Boatwright, Principal here at A.G. Wright Middle School. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Jessica Hall, our A.G. Wright Teacher of the Year. Miss Hall teaches eighth grade and she's been with us for about eight years now. Miss Hall was nominated by the faculty and staff in our community to be our Teacher of the Year. She went through the selection process and was elected. So we'd like to congratulate her on being elected Teacher of the Year. Ms. Hall was nominated because she's active in our community. She works with our students. She works with students who sometimes folks find uh, more challenging than others, but she finds them adorable. She works with our new teachers. She mentors new teachers. She's willing to help bring people along in the profession. For those reasons, she was nominated and was selected as A.G. Wright Teacher of the Year. So, hi everybody, I'm Ms. Hall. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to everybody who nominated me for Teacher of the Year. This is such an honor. As a teacher, this is really the highest award that we can get within our building. And to be nominated by my coworkers, who I respect so much and who I've grown with over the past 10 years is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I can't put into words how much that means to me to be nominated by my peers and my administrator, who I look up to so much, Mr. Boatwright. Whoop, whoop. So when I first started teaching, I originally started off as a counselor. And when I was working in a classroom as a counselor, my students were like, wow, you're really good at the teaching part of this and teaching math. And I was like, okay, you're kind of right. I like it and I enjoy it. So I went off and I started my uh, education <clears throat> to become a math teacher. And during that time, I really fell in love with it. And I fell in love with the fact that if I really took my time and tried to create my lessons in a different way and create these learning experiences that I could motivate all students to learn. And, you know, sometimes as a teacher, we know the word all doesn't really mean every single person gets an A. Sometimes it just means that every single person might pay attention or every single person might at least try. Um, and that's what I really strived for. And that's what I strive for every day. You know, for the past couple of years, I've been working in the collaborative setting and I've really had to adjust my way of teaching to reach all learning styles. And I have found that to be so inspiring and motivational to myself. And I just want to say thanks again. This is such an amazing honor. And thank you to everybody who's just working really hard this year. I think we all deserve to be Teacher of the Year this year. The reason why we nominated Frida Crawley is because she is just such an excellent employee. She exhibits excellent leadership skills, qualities, um, professionalism, and she is always willing to provide her expertise to her colleagues to the students and to the families in the community. She was an inter integral part of our virtual teaching this year. I cannot say enough about her and the staff cannot say enough about her about how above and beyond that she went for us um, in order to get um, the things that we needed, the materials that we needed, provide the professional developments for the staff um, that was desperately needed. And she did it with such, um, I don't want to say the word grace, but professionalism. She was very, um, very kind and she was very open to the staff during a time where it was, it, they were feeling uncertain. She is also, she also runs our Drew TV um, and she works along with the students um, at home and in school now um, in order to provide live daily announcements to the staff and the students and that has been awesome. Um, she also, partnered up with the outside organization to get microphones for students who were in need that were working remotely so they got to keep them. Um, and again, we just love having Frida here. It's her first year here at Drew Middle School, but not her first year in the county. And we have been blessed just to have her on the staff. To be nominated as Teacher of the Year was such an honor. I grew up in Stafford and remember playing sports here at Drew and to come back as an adult, as a teacher to Stafford County has always been such a blessing in my life. And uh, this is my first year at Drew and to take a leap of faith in your profession, I transitioned to becoming an ITRT here. And the first day I was welcomed with open arms and knew that I'd made the right decision. Walking around the building, I'm always happy to help other teachers and students. Um, especially during the time of virtual learning and making that transition a successful one for our learners has been such a great opportunity for us here at Drew. Thank you all for being here. We're really happy and proud uh, that you're here, that we can honor 
our Teacher of the Year from North Stafford High School for the 2021 school year, Miss Andy Mara. Uh, she is a math teacher and a leadership teacher here at the world's greatest high school. Her colleagues nominated her for her unwavering commitment to students, to student success, for helping all students be successful, and for her unwavering commitment to building a positive culture and climate. Her efforts over the last few years have landed her national recognition from the Jostens Renaissance program uh, for her commitment to student success and to culture and climate. So she is a very welcome addition here. We're incredibly proud of her and we wish her congratulations. Our Teacher of the Year for 2021, Miss Andy Mara. Thank you, North Stafford, for nominating me for Teacher of the Year this year. I'm so blessed to work at such a wonderful school with great students and faculty. I'm very fortunate to teach kids about math and increase their passion for learning, as well as our student leaders about responsibility and time management as we plan events for the school. This has been great experience over the past three years, and I just can't wait to keep making a difference here at North um, in such a great community.